Alright folks. Alright folks, holla at your boy. Hey uh we're here today to do another uh, real review. We're gonna switch it up today. We're gonna go uh bait casters. We're gonna jump right into it. Uh, there's a million reviews and all of this stuff online, so but my take on it, we're gonna be talking about the dial with Steez, TWSV, and the dial with Tatula uh SV. So I got both these reels, paid retail for them. Actually, the wife got me the old uh Steez. Got them dismounted off the rods right now for the uh, review. So I'm going to jump right in it. Uh, first things first, no, I don't think this is worth $500. Why? Why is this not worth $500? Why would you spend $500 on a Baycaster 500 bones? Why would you do it? Had the money at the time, was doing good in life, doing great in life now. And I thought it was just cool to have something like this. And she got it for me for, I think, Christmas. And I think this was the first or second year it was out. And I was real new to fishing. I actually didn't know what to use this reel for for the longest. But eventually I found my way with it. And uh, it was my weightless zoom fluke reel. And, you know, years went by. I love this reel, put a bunch of fish on it. But as I get older, I start to ask myself, well, why? Why is this $500? A bunch of exotic materials. You don't even get a special box. Like, come on, Daiwa. I got a lot of y'all. I got so much of y'all stuff. I don't know if you can see it. I got a Daiwa Steve sticker on my truck. Why can't you get a special box on a reel that you paid $500 for? So, I bought the I bought the Tatula SV some time ago. And this means very little to me that the reel can do this. But, I mean, it does it. It's a little more refined. It's not as heavy. I know you dial with fanboys out there are going to probably be like, well, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know refinement. It turns. It casts. It's got MagForce brakes. It's got the little stupid zero adjuster. G1 aluminum spools. So what? The point is $500. Here's the box for the SV. I forgot how much this reel was retail, but it wasn't $500. So I turned this into this without even trying. So what did I do? I just popped a ceramic baron in there. So I went on the old Instagram one day and I saw Scott at Spool High Speed Barons. And I was like, man, these bokers are expensive. Let me just get a, let me try one. And I tried another one and another one and another one and another one. Next thing I know, all of my reels got these dang um, barons in them. So I put the ceramic baron I put the ceramic baron in the reel and it came to life. This SV was, was real stiff when I got it. I mean, I don't know why, but it was, it was so stiff. I don't know why, I don't know why it was so stiff, but once I put the ceramic baron in there, it was, it just came to life. So I really, really, truly forgot. I ain't got my phone with me right now. I forgot how much this reel costs retail, but if you're out there and you were in the market to get a Steez or a Metanium or a, a Antares, I, I, I couldn't say buy it for what. Like, I don't understand. Like, I got it. I like it. And if you don't think I fish it, it's got some real rash on it. I fish this thing. I put work on it. It gets that work. It gets, it gets taken out every time. It's one of my favorite reels. Could I justify the price tag? Would I do it again? If you came up on ten thousand dollars and say hey i want to treat myself london fluke skipper what should i get i wouldn't tell you to get a die with steez i could tell you that i mean it's cool but in actuality this reel literally does not do anything this one can't it's ounce two ounces it's no major weight difference i will tell you why i, I take this reel out especially when i go to a public place because I want to brag. I want people to say, oh, hey, that's cool. What's that? And I'm just like, yo, breast the die with Steve's. You ain't got one. So that's my quick take on these two reels. I know people are going to be, well, he don't know refinement or blah, blah, blah. I got like 25 bait casters. They all feel different. Dial brought nothing to the table when they put a $500 price tag on this. Magnesium, some exotic metals. So what? It's not, it's not a big, big, big difference to where I want to just go out and pay $500 for this. The only people I say who changed the game is the people that I don't like. Oh, Shimano. Shimano, the DC. 
when they brought the Corrado DC out, they changed the game. 250 bucks, I got one, of course. 250 bucks for that, that was a game changer. It, it brought something new. It brought a new braking system. It brought guys who couldn't probably use a baitcaster as well as, you know, this or Shimano to the game. Then they come out with the SLX DC and they just really changed the game. So I still like Dow. I'll never put uh, Shimano over Dow as far as baitcasters. I don't feel like Shimano tries hard enough. I mean, they got a little something going with the uh, with their uh, DC game, but for the most part, Dial has got them beat as far as quality and whatnot. So that's my take on why you shouldn't buy the Dial with Steez. Get something else upgraded. Get a zillion. Don't get a Steez for what? I got one to say I got one, but that's just me. Don't be me. I want you to be better than me. Uh, all right, so we're shooting up to 100 subscribers, man. Uh, like I said, I don't do this for clout, nothing. It's cool to wake up in the morning, see a new subscriber, see somebody like, dislike, did not care for my opinion, could care less. This YouTube, uh, if you got a question, if you was wondering, as long as I help one person, that's all that matters. All right, thanks for watching.